Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Reeti and I'm back with another lecture in the OS series. In the last lecture, we learned about the structure of operating system. In this particular video, we would be learning about the communication between the user and the operating system. So without any further ado, let's get started. So till date, we have learned that user use the operating system to communicate to the hardware. Now how the communication between the user and the operating system happens? So we'll be learning about the same in this particular video. So the user and the operating system communicate primarily through first one is system calls and second is user interface. Now what are the steps of communication? So the very first step is user interaction. So the user inputs a command via the CLI that is command line interface or GUI that is graphical user interface. We'll be learning about both of them in the next set of slides. Now the second is system call. So the command triggers a system call to request OS services. So at the very first user input a command via the command line or the graphical user interface. Once the input is done, it goes to the operating system. It says that this is the particular input I want. Consider if you want to print a document. Consider if you want to write anything in a document, you want to save a document. So all those things are passed via the system call to the operating system. Now third is kernel processing. So the operating system process the system call in the kernel mode. So as discussed about kernel in the last set of videos, the kernel is the core part of operating system. So the kernel is the central component of operating system that ensures the communication between the hardware and the software. It provides fundamental services like process management, memory management and device communication ensuring the system runs efficiently and securely. So it basically focuses more on the process management, memory management and the device communication. So it is the core part of the operating system which handles all these things. Now the fourth one is execution. So the operating system perform the requested task. Now since there is a system call which is provided to the operating system, operating system goes to the kernel and then the operating system performs the requested task. That is considered maybe allocating a memory or accessing any hardware component. Now the fifth one is return to user. So the result or status is returned to the user via the UI or the terminal. So you have provided a input and then you get the processed output. So this is how the steps of communication happens between the user and the operating system. We'll be learning about user modes and kernel modes there it will be more clear on how the switching between the user mode to kernel mode happens and what happens exactly in the kernel mode how all the communication happens so as we discussed about these two ways of interacting with the operating system let's understand more about them so the first is user interface so the primary way user interact with the operating system is through the user interface this is the visual and the interactive part of the operating system that allows user to input commands and receive information. Now there are mainly two types of UI. First one is command line interface and second one is graphical user interface. So what is this command line interface? So user interacts by typing text based command into a terminal or command prompt. So here you can see a terminal which is present there and there user can provide the text based commands according to the requirements. Now this is often preferred by advanced user for efficiency and control. The user basically types the command to request the services like mkdir to make a directory, ls to show all the folders or files which is present in that particular folder. So basically all these commands are used in the command prompt so that we can access any file, we can do any modification to the files or we can save the files. So via the command line interface we can access the operating system or user can interact with the operating system. Now the second way is graphical user interface that is GUI. So the user interacts with the system through icons, buttons and windows. User interact by manipulating graphical elements like windows, icons, menus and buttons using a mouse, keyboard or a touch screen. This is the most common type of UI for general users due to its ease of use. So here what we need to do is we need to provide commands for everything. If we want to go to a folder, if we want to access a file, if we want to read a file, if we want to open the text editor in our uh, computer. So all those things needs to be done via the commands and like learning all those commands or remembering all those commands is a tedious task. So because of which you can use this graphical user interface. You just need to go to the Windows tab or maybe the Mac OS tab and there you can see everything apps safari mail so you can just double click on them and it will open for you there you can also find some icons and uh, buttons which is present for saving a document for editing a document so this provides more of a you can say convenience to the user and uh, mostly in the android or ios phone you get the touch screen as well so there also you can use the touch screen to access all these apps
Now, not all the operating system have a graphical user interface. So not all the operating system have this graphical user interface, but all of them have some form of interface for user interaction. So not all of them use the graphical user interface, but user needs to interact with the operating system. So they have different interfaces for that. So types of OS interfaces, first one is graphical user interface that is GUI, which is found mostly in Windows, Mac OS and many Linux distros offering visual elements like Windows, icons, menus and buttons. Now the second one is command line interface. So used basically in the Linux server, DOS and the embedded system where user interacts via the text commands. So user can type in all the commands in their command line interface basically CLIs or command prompt or bash terminal and then they can access all the resources. Now the next one is touch based interface. So it is seen basically in mobile OS like Android and iOS. So you mostly get the touch screen in iOS or Android phones. Now the next one is voice or gesture based interface. So which is basically found in AI driven systems and IoT devices. So these are all the types of OS interfaces. Mostly not all the OS have the graphical user interface but they do have an interface for the communication. Now what is a system call? So when a user performs an action, example opening a file, launching an application, the UI translates this action into a set of instructions that the OS can understand. Now these instructions are called a system call. So in the very first slide also we discussed that whenever user inputs something or wants to open anything, there is a system call which is generated to the OS to provide services. So basically these instructions are called as system calls. Now system calls are the way where the user communicate their request to the OS kernel. Kernel is basically the core component of OS which manages the process management, memory management, device communication and other things. Now how it works? So basically your program makes a system call, example I want to open a file. Now the operating system check if it's allowed and process the request. So the OS does the action that is open the file and send back the result. So basically user demanded to open a file and the file was open. Basically it was done via the system call. So this is how the user communicates with the operating system. Basically two ways, a system call way and the second one is interface way. So in the interface or you can say user interface way, there are two types of interfaces mostly which is used, graphical user interface and command line interface. In the system call, Basically, it is a set of instructions which is provided to the operating system which basically communicates that what the user exactly wants. So this was all about this video. I hope you like this video. So if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're someone who is new to my channel, can go ahead and watch out the tech content first. And if you find it useful, can go ahead and subscribe. Also, if you have not followed me on my social media handles, you can go ahead and follow. The links are in the description. Till then, take care, keep learning, keep growing, keep smiling. Bye all.